It's time. Sports Desk starts right now. Well, the Heat and Pelicans were in Miami tonight. The Heat looking for their fourth victory in five outings. And Bam Adebayo would heat up in the early stages. He gives Miami a seven-point advantage in the first quarter. Bam with a double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. C.J. McCollum was on fire. He would bank one in from downtown. C.J. with a game-high 30 points. The Pelicans pick up the road win, 111-88. to March Madness upon us here on CBS and Florida was well represented today in the round of 64. We begin with Stetson in the big dance as the number 16 seed facing the big time defending champions from UConn in Brooklyn. UConn up 33 at the half. Donovan Klingen scored a game high 19 points, eight rebounds. The Huskies win in convincing fashion, 91 to 52. They advance to the round of 32. Connecticut will now face Northwestern as they defeated Florida Atlantic in the first round. The Owls led by two with less than a minute remaining. Brooks Barnheiser drives in, tying it all up. And Janelle Davis, a chance for the win. His shot gets blocked. We go to overtime. The Wildcats roll to a 19-7 run in the extra minutes. Florida Atlantic would fall 77-65. Of course, it's disappointing, but to even make the tournament is is something you got to appreciate in itself because there's a lot of good teams that don't. So it is difficult, but um, I think all of us in the locker room are appreciative and we're just kind of talking to each other and uh, just reminiscing a little bit on everything that we've been through together as a group. Let's head to the courts. Miami Open, despite the rain, taking place at Hard Rock Stadium today. The best tennis players in the world battling. South Florida native Coco Goff victorious in her opening round matchup. She beat Nadia Petroskova in straight sets, 6-1-6-2, moving on to the round of 32. Coco is seated number three in this year's tournament. And finally tonight, one of the great American stars in the Miami Open gave back to the community as Chris Banks greeted the students of Nautilus Middle School in Miami Beach in order to give them tennis tips on the courts and also some financial advice. Chris enters this year's Miami Open as the 31st seed and he appreciated giving back to the community. If we can try to get the message to kids at a younger age so they can understand the importance of it, hopefully we can alleviate some of that trouble and just put them in a better position as they move uh, further into adulthood. And so I'm just excited to be a part of, of the FICO family and to have the opportunity to be able to kind of spread that message. Well, Chris giving some good mentoring, and that's it for sports. We'll be right back.